how to reinstall or change Vulture Server's OS with a fresh or new image. The first thing you need to do is sign into your Vulture account. Once you've done that, click on the products page to be taken to your products. Here you'll be able to see all your servers that you have deployed on your Vulture account. Locate the Vulture server that you would like to reinstall or change the operating system for. In my case, it's going to be demo-server. Once you've found your server, click on its name. Firstly, I'm going to show you how we can reinstall with a fresh operating system on your Vulture server. To do this, navigate to the top right hand corner to where it says server reinstall. It's this disk icon with an exclamation mark and click on it. Once you've done that, you'll be greeted with a small notification window which says reinstall server. You'll then see your server IP address and its name. Are you sure you want to reinstall your server? Any data on your server will be permanently lost. You must check mark this box next to yes, reinstall the server to be able to click on reinstall install server. If this is exactly what you want to do and you're aware that all your data will be erased on this server, if you go ahead with the reinstallation, then simply click on reinstall server. This will then reinstall your operating system, which in my case is Ubuntu 22.04 LTS onto my server as a completely fresh OS install. It's like we're starting from the very beginning once again. I'll be back with you guys once the status on the right hand side says running. Currently it says installing, but I'll be back when that's done. All right, I'm back. And as you can see, it says the status of our server is running. So you have successfully now reinstalled the same operating system onto your server. With a server reinstallation, you keep the same IP address of your server. Now I'm going to show you how you can change to a different operating system on your Vulture server. So for example, I have an Ubuntu operating system right now. I'm going to change it to something else. For example, to Debian. So to do this, Click on your server name once again, then click on settings. In settings, look for where it says change OS and click on change OS. In here, you'll be greeted with this window which says new operating system. Changing to a different operating system will wipe all your data on your server. So similarly, when you reinstalled your OS, you also deleted all your data. When you're changing to a completely different type of OS, you're also erasing all your data. So keep this in mind. And if you're happy with this, you can proceed. So currently I've installed Ubuntu 22.04 x64. Underneath, you can choose your new OS. So simply click on this and then select your operating system. So I'm going to be going with Debian and I'm going to go with Debian 11 x64 bullseye. I'm going to click on it to select it and then I'm going to click on change OS. You'll then be greeted with a small notification at the very bottom which says server, the IP address of your server, the name of your server and are you sure you want to change to a different operating system or data will be lost in the process. Again, similar to the reinstallation of the same OS, for changing it you are also greeted with the same final notification window and you'll also need to check this box but this time it says yes change the OS on this server. Once you've done that simply click on change OS. Now Vulture will wipe all your data on your server and begin the process of changing your operating system from Ubuntu in my case to Debian OS. As you can see the status is currently installing. I'll be back with you once the status says running. All right, I'm back. The status of our Vulture server is now running, which means we have successfully changed the operating system of our Vulture server. Now I'm going to log into my server via SSH. I'm going to click on my server name to be able to see the login details. First, I'm going to need the IP address of my server. Copy the IP address of your Vulture server, minimize your browser, and then double click on your SSH client, which in my case is putty. Paste in your server's host name. In this case, our server's IP address, and then click on open. You'll then be greeted with a putty security alert, which is expected as the SSH host key for your server has changed due to a reinstallation of the same OS or a change in operating system like it has in this case. Therefore, you now have a brand new SSH host key that needs to be cached so that Putty recognizes it in Putty. So Putty basically has the old SSH host key cached, but not the new one. So you have the option to click on accept to cache it, connect once or cancel. I'm going to click on accept. I'm then going to maximize the Putty terminal window here. I'm going to be logging in as root and then hitting enter on my keyboard. And then I'm going to open back up my browser. I'm going to copy the new password for our Debian Vulture server. As you can see, the reason why we're logging in as root is because the username of our Vulture server is root. Open back up Putty and right click 
to paste in your password, followed by enter on your keyboard. Once you've done that, you'll be successfully logged in to your Vulture server. Either you have performed a reinstallation of the same operating system, like we did at the start of the video, or like we did towards the end of the video, and currently now, where we changed our operating system from Ubuntu to Debian. And you can see that is the case here by our server saying Debian GNU slash Linux, which means we have successfully changed our operating system on our Vulture server. We have the same IP address, but we're starting fresh with a brand new OS. Great, so that pretty much concludes the video on how to reinstall or change Vulture Serves OS with a fresh or new image. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.